Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include David Cameron launches assault on EU red tape Illegal immigration is costing the UK £100 million a year Is Mario Draghi really King Canute? Scotland's EU bombshell And finally, European Union looks set to create venture capital fund for SMEs I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, David Cameron has launched a new assault on Reb Tape today, challenging Brussels to scrap dozens of laws he says are tying small businesses up in knots. Well, I have been out this morning at 4 Networking Business Group talking about the EU to small business owners and I can tell you that they've been asking UK political ministers for this for over 10 years. In fact, Brad Burton, 4 Networking founder and CEO, has been actively campaigning about EU red tape. Let's consider another idea for a moment. If, as our government would have us believe, our relationship with the EU is simply a trading agreement, then why does Mr Cameron have to ask permission to ignore these laws? Is our parliament not legally supreme? Here's a cracking article on illegal immigration. At least 4,000 foreigners enter the UK every 12 months despite having no right to be here. Each one costs as much as £25,000 to remove, putting the potential annual bill at £100 million. Officials admit, however, that the illegals are often allowed to stay. Many will claim asylum or be impossible to remove because they do not have a passport and will not cooperate with investigators. Now there was me thinking that our monetary policy monopoly player, Mario Draghi, was king of the Heidelberg, coming to the rescue on his German mechanical charger, venting 100 euro notes from the exhaust and yelling the ECB marching mantra, we'll buy all the bonds, all of them. (laughs) Well, in this article, eminent professor of economics, Tim Congdon, takes a detailed look at exactly what Mr Draghi is up to. Is he really King Canute or is he really just a 21st century Frank Abagnale? Scotland's referendum on independence is set for next year. One of the major issues weighing on voters' minds will be whether the new country would remain a member of the European Union or have to leave and join the queue to be readmitted. More deeply concerning is how mechanisms in the EU are deliberately obfuscating a definitive answer to what relationship an independent Scotland would have with the European Union. This report in our legislation section looks at a report from the EU Commission on a proposal for an EU venture capital fund. The objective is to create a European venture capital investment sector for small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs. These proposed amendments to the regulation are the result of collaboration between the members of the competent committee and member state representatives. Today in our video library, this short documentary video looks at the history of the Eurozone debt crisis. So what really happened? This video looks at this issue, but is their analysis correct? I noticed that they talk about the cause being an increase in budget deficit, bad fiscal behaviour, sovereign debt creating a banking crisis. Or was it that the banks blew out on derivatives and credit gambles, forcing governments to step in with a too-big-to-fail campaign, ultimately leaving sovereign governments with a debt on their books that they couldn't service? I will be discussing this issue with my guests on the Unit Interactive Live tonight at 9pm. Come and join me. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. 
And are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Finally, join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google+. Links to our community page are below. Rick Timmis for The Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>